Good morning, ladies and gents. Welcome to this channel. Um, I have got Dr. Vijay Langa, who is a cosmetic and plastic surgeon coming all the way from India. He just landed yesterday, so thank you for gracing us today. Um, and he is from Fortis Healthcare. Um, and it is a group of hospitals. It's actually the second largest in India, right? right. But you focus specifically on Fortis La Femme, yes. which is the one that focuses on women, right? All women's hospitals. Right, exactly. So maybe you could tell us a little bit about that and about you and, uh, and, um, and how you came here, how you got here. All right, thanks. So Fortis um, Healthcare has, uh, as you said, the second largest uh, chain of uh, hospitals in the uh, country, in India. Mm -hmm. uh, it has 54 uh, centers, out of which 12 are, uh, well, a lot of uh, it focuses in the north northern part of uh, India. Mm. Uh, that's where we come. I come from. Uh, New Delhi has 12 such uh, hospitals. Okay. Specifically with LaFem, I'm working with LaFem for the past uh, six to eight uh, months now. Okay. Um, and it's an all uh, women's uh, hospital, mm. uh, which uh, takes care of uh, all the needs and uh, privacy and um, world class care uh, for women. Yeah. Uh, we get patients from all over the country and indeed from uh, various parts of the world. Mm. And it's really satisfying because uh, we've got multiple uh, specialties and uh, super speciali uh, specialties in the hospital and we take uh, good holistic care of uh, our women there. Right. And uh, earlier... I, oh, yeah, sorry. I was, sorry. Yeah, okay. I was uh, with the Indian uh, Army yes. for 28, um, I would like to believe, golden years. Wow. Um, and uh, and 13, 14 years of plastic surgery uh, service mm. in uh, the Indian Army. And uh, I used to take care of a lot of uh, trauma reconstruction, cancer reconstruction, and um, a lot of uh, women and children who would, and even serving soldiers who would get burnt mm. in the line of duty. Okay. And uh, arguably, we have our uh, largest series of uh, in the country and possibly uh, in Asia. Mm. Uh, on early burn wound excision where we used to go in and um, excise or cut out all the dead parts of burn uh, tish tissues mm -hmm. and uh, improve survival ah. to up to what 60 70 percent uh, okay. burnt areas okay we could do with a lot of uh, conviction a lot of hard work mm. it was a huge team effort mm. but uh, we could do that right so actually earlier you were telling me something very interesting um uh, regarding some of the most difficult or strenuous surgeries that you've had to uh, to do, yes. um, do you want to take us just before we get into uh, all the other stuff? But do you want to just um, recount what you were saying about the the replantation, re yeah, replantation uh, yeah, yeah. of the yeah. the fingers? So these have been uh, a few uh, patients who've uh, come to us with uh, uh, traumatic injuries. Um, there were some uh, some seriously macabre uh, incidents. I remember one. Uh, a lady who was whose fingers were uh, were chopped by her uh, husband because she thought oh. uh, he thought she was having an an affair yeah so that took about 16 17 hours uh, to uh, to stitch back and that is not only uh, just putting the skin right back mm. it's fixing the bone uh, tendons both uh, the flexors which will flex the finger mm. as well as straighten it mm. and uh, arteries uh, veins and nerves. Right. So it's uh, pretty very uh, pretty, difficult. Uh, yeah, technically yeah. demanding. Yeah. Surgery. I can I can only imagine. Yeah. Um, and you know what's also very interesting? I think a lot of times when people hear plastic surgery, um, they automatically assume that you're there to get I don't know like eyebrows done or your cheekbones right. done or your lips. They think it it takes on that route, but. Right. There's obviously a lot more to this world. Um, you just gave a great example. And I think also, even in the world of oncology, um, it, there's an opportunity for women who have, say, for instance, had their breasts taken out to, to, right. to be able to get a piece of themselves back or to yes. feel a little bit like themselves. Absolutely. And um, it's, um, they, they do really great on uh, self-esteem. Mm, exactly. Because uh, that self-esteem is, you got the... Uh, the um, uh, the the threat mm. dangling on your neck that of cancer mm. that eno that's enough to uh, drive anybody uh, mad or, or on the defensive mm. and you do not replace the part of the body that is uh, amputated and which is more so important for a for a lady mm. 
uh, I think uh, that's where we can we come, in. come in and yeah. uh, we, we do this. Uh, interesting with you talked about plastic surgery being uh, equated just as uh, uh, with cosmetic surgery. Mm. It's actually not so. Mm. Uh, plastic surgery takes its origin from a, a Latin word called uh, uh, plasticos, which means to mold. Oh. It has nothing to do with right. uh, plas plastic. Right. I think which, it's which, all the TV shows <laughs> that show plastic surgeons and, she, and then people are getting like yeah, butt implants yeah, and you think that's all and, there is to it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so, so that, that um, the whole uh, branch uh, surgical uh, science is divided into reconstructive and okay. cosmetic. Okay. Cosmetic is a very important part and cosmetic okay. is a very uh, gratifying uh, part mm. as well mm. because it, it is a, a reasonably looking uh, person. Mm. Wanting to look better, right? Uh, and that uh, means the challenge is possibly in some ways uh, much more than in reconstructive work, mm. because in a lot of uh, deformed hands you can do just that much and not beyond. Mm. You can't possibly give them a hundred percent uh, um, uh, reconstruction, right? Uh, but enough to allow them to carry on with their own uh, work. Yeah. In cosmetic surgery, however. Uh, the stakes are much uh, higher. You have to be that much, that much better. Yeah. Because the patient is always. I mean, she, he or she is uh, absolutely fine. Yeah. They walk in. Yeah. And they want to f look better. Exactly. And so it's nothing. Those... Nothing can go wrong. Mm. So and then... it's those little nuances. You know, they might be upset about the yes. tiniest thing. So you have to be even True. more precise. True. But um, I was actually wondering. So what are some of the main treatments that people, when they're coming to you, say for cosmetic surgery? What are some of the top treatments or the top things that you hear a lot uh, about that more and more women are, are interested in? Right. Basically, um, liposuction uh, of various ah. uh, parts of the body. Okay. Uh, breast uh, augmentation as you, even uh, reduction. Yeah. Uh, breast reduction ah. is a procedure which is akin to a reconstructive procedure mm. uh, because uh, the lady is lugging a lot of uh, uh, load on, a, on her chest. Mm. And when I trained in the uh, US in 2009, I did my um, body um, fellowship in body contouring following massive weight loss. That's another uh, part. I'll touch upon that just mm. in a bit. Uh, so a lot of ladies would come, uh, you know, um, carrying their breasts, so to say, on their hands like that. Oh, wow. So this causes a lot of uh, shoulder pain, yeah. back pain, and a lot of infection on the undersurface of the breast mm. and so on. So these have these are always win-win situations. They're, they're, um, the patients are always, the only thing they say is, why did I not get this done before? Mm. So liposuction, uh, breast surgery, and then abdominoplasty or tummy, tummy tuck, mm. these are the uh, common ones. Mm. And we are, we are also getting uh, cosmetic gynecology in the form of um, uh, genital rejuvenation mm. uh, and various other, uh, other things. The other subset is the massive weight loss. Um, in our part of the world also we are increasing uh, the number of obese patients who are undergoing uh, what is called as a bariatric surgery. Okay. So in that uh, they reduce the size of the stomach right. from a bag to a tube and uh, and also a bypass surgery but I won't go into uh, those details that's not my uh, specialty. Mm. But more importantly that uh, these patients uh, lose a lot of uh, kilos. Mm. Many pounds 50 70 80 100 pounds. Oh wow. And then And do they keep them off or uh, or I guess it's on them to... No, but then the the, the, the weight, the, the skin and the fat and yeah. start sagging. Oh. And that's when they have to undergo... Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, okay. The body contouring. Mm. That's when I... Uh, that's what I've trained uh, trained in in the uh, US. So okay. That's my uh, other specialty. Okay. Um, I'm also curious to know if Fortis um, La Femme offers say counseling or or um, some kind of psychological treatment as well because for a lot of the people that you're talking about coming in to yes. see you you know whether it's they have burns um, or they had you know they wanted a breast reduction it's 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 a it's a big decision to make to alter your body whether it's you know whichever way you look at it um, so is there some kind of counseling offered as well for a lot Definitely. of the women Definitely. who come all, in? all our patients uh, especially such uh, patients with with um, 
um, a, such makeovers and, and um, uh, body reformations mm. um, they, and large uh, long surgical procedures mm. they definitely uh, have there uh, we have a counseling uh, section mm. and um, we do our psychotherapy a part of uh, it is done by me because that's uh, also very important mm. because uh, the patient has to feel uh, very confident in the uh, the plastic surgeon oh good yeah. lovely i have to ask this question because a lot of times it's assumed that it's women who want to have things done you know something changed something tweaked but do you have men coming in for cosmetic surgery oh, absolutely uh, for hair transplant Okay. For um, uh, gynecomastia, which is uh, so um, I important when, when it comes to adolescents, mm. uh, males who have uh, breasts uh, somewhat similar to those like uh, ladies, okay. uh, women's breasts, mm. they want that uh, reduced, and liposuction, and, uh, and even penile lengthening and augmentation. So wow, okay. uh, the world's opened up uh, completely. See, so the facial re rejuvenation also. Oh, I mean, we get men, yeah. Men, I mean, we get more women, of course. Yeah. But uh, we do get men uh, for uh, facial rejuvenation, mm. facelifts and and Botox fillers and so on. So. Look, I'm so glad I asked that because I bet a lot of women were like, "Aha, uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah," and some men would probably be in the comments or watching and thinking, "Oh, I, I don't know how to ask this, but what if I wanted this done?" Look, La Femme focuses on women, right? But Fortis, I'm sure, can can take on as Absolutely. as many of you guys and as many of your needs as you may have. And you've heard him mention all the things that happen. So don't say I didn't hook you up, guys, okay? <laughs> if you want, contact him, okay? Thank you so much, Dr. Langa. And thank, thank you, you to uh, Fortis as well for continuously providing good healthcare solutions. We will leave all the information in the description box. So if you would like to get in touch with Daktari, which is how we say doctor in Swahili, okay. Daktari. <laughs> if you'd like to get in touch with Daktari, um, you can reach him in the in the contact details that we'll put in the description box. Thank you for watching and thank you again. Thank you. I hope you enjoy and Kenya. Oh, yes, Karibu. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. <laughs> See you guys very soon. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye.